Hi everybody, this is Pulki Chhabda, and in this series, I'll be discussing the Code Chef's uh, April Long Challenge Division Two as well as some questions of Division One as also. I'll be uh, leaving these last two questions apart from these. Uh, I'll be discussing the rest of them, uh, and in this video, I'll be discussing the first question, which is COVID pandemic and long queue. All right. So without further ado, let's read the question out. You can also uh, open the link yourself and read it if you want to. Uh, anyway, I'll be reading it out. So the question says that due to the COVID pandemic, uh, people have been advised to stay at least six feet away from any other person. Uh, now people are lining up in a queue, and it is your duty to check whether they are all following this advice. Okay, there are n spots, one to n, uh, when where people can stand in front of a local shop. The distance between each pair of adjacent spots uh, spots is one foot. Each spot may be either empty or occupied. Okay, you are given a sequence a one to a n. Uh, where for each valid i, a i is zero if the ith spot is empty and it's one if it's occupied. If a person is standing on this spot, uh, it is guaranteed that the queue isn't completely empty. Empty. Okay. For example, if n equals to eleven and the sequence is this, we know that a person is standing on the spot number two and uh, I think this is eleven, ten, nine, eight, and uh, the spot number uh, eleven. Then this is this is a queue in which people are not following the advice. Yeah, because uh, there is a person on eight, eighth, and the eleventh spot, and the distance is just three feet, right? Uh, you need to determine whether the people are following the social distancing advice or not. Okay, I am just to tell uh, if the answer is yes or no. Yes, if they are following, if if the uh, you know the advice is followed, uh, and no if it's not. And the constraints are: we'll be first getting the number of test cases, uh, and it, they are going to be one to hundred. Uh, and the number of people in each test case are going to be till hundred, and AI values are obviously going to be either zero or one. So uh, this is a pretty basic question. This is the first question of the long challenge. I hope uh, you were able to solve it. If you weren't, I think uh, you should first give it a try yourself. And you can pause the video, think the solution. And this point onwards, I'll be discussing the solution basically. One second. Yeah. So if we uh, look at the sample test cases, in the first test case, uh, the distance between the first and second person is just two units. So answer is no. And in this, the distance is exactly six units, the six uh, six feet. So the answer is yes. In this also, the answer is no because these two people uh, are having just a distance of three feet. Right. So to check, there can be you know uh, two three possible solutions. One of them can be uh, we we iterate over the a array, and uh, for every uh, index, if the number on that index is zero, it means there is no person standing right. So we do not need to take care of this index. But if a person is standing uh, on a particular index, what we can do is we can uh, you know check the next five spots. And the previous five spots, right? If there is someone uh, standing in one of those, you know, uh, next five and the previous five spots, the answer is going to be no. But if there isn't, this isn't the case of for every you know person, then the answer is going to be yes. Uh, another possible way is that we can basically you know you know make another array which will store the uh, spot numbers of those. Uh, which will store those spot num spot numbers on which uh, a person is standing. For example, if I talk about this uh, test case, my new array will contain the numbers two because a person is standing on the spot number two and eight and eleven. Now, in this uh, you know new array, the difference between each uh, you know consecutive pair of uh, adjacent pair of numbers should be greater than or equal to six. Because if it's less than six, it means that the distance between them is less than six, which is something we don't want. So we can basically simply iterate on this array uh, and check if there is an adjacent pair of you know numbers with a difference less than six. If yes, the answer is no. Uh, if no, then the answer is yes. It means that all of the you know people are six at least six feet away, right? So let's quickly copy this and uh, implement it. In code, so the firstly I'll be taking the number of test cases and then the number of people, uh, number of spots. Sorry, 
uh, I'll be making a new vector let's say V and then I am basically going to uh, I, I actually don't need to store this array I'll, I'll just simply iterate from 1 to and I'll get if uh, I'll get as an input if a person is uh, standing on this spot or not if x equals equals 1 it means that a person is standing on this spot then I simply uh, push back i to my vector and uh, let let me initialize my answer with yes initially and then I'll iterate in the new array uh, in the new vector right and I'll simply check for each pair of uh, adjacent numbers if v of i minus v of i minus 1 is less than 6 then my answer is going to be no and I'll simply break here right this was a pretty simple one I hope it's clear you can go through the code once again uh, I'll quickly check if the answer for the samples is fine no yes no should be the answer okay it says no 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 okay uh, a mistake v plus 1 minus vi should be here not vi minus vi minus 1 yeah because I am uh, starting my iteration from 0 and I am going till the last element uh, till the second last element so I'll be checking the difference of the next and the current element right so I'll quickly submit it let's go through the code once in the meantime take the input if uh, the ith number is 1 it means there is a person standing on the ith spot I'll push back uh, the ith spot on, into my uh, you know vector and uh, now in the vector each pair of adjacent numbers should have a difference of at least 6 uh, I'll initialize my answer as yes initially then I'll iterate to uh, on each adjacent pair of uh, you know indices and see if the difference between in the elements is less than 6 if the difference is less than 6 then the answer is going to be no because we have found a pair of you know people who are not obeying, obeying the advice so the answer is no and I'll simply break if not the answer was simply initialized by yes and we'll just print the answer and the uh, answer is correct we, the solution is accepted I hope the solution was clear mm -hmm.